Hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC out here at the Avon Park here on Mollus Club. Going to do the True Maiden on the EC1500 plug and play. The reason I got the plug and play is because I already had receivers for it. I installed an AR631 uh, receiver with that long antenna. Uh, it's got safe and AS3X. Because it's only six channel, I had to make a choice between do I want thrust reversing or do I want the cargo door to work? Um, so I, kept, I chose the uh, cargo door. This plane lamp flies or stops fine on its own. I didn't think I need the reversing, but the function is there. If you had a seven ch seventh channel, you could put that in there. So running a, sorry, I got my butt in your face. Running a 4000 smart, uh, Spectrum Smart Pack. Right, left, up, down, right, left. I chose the, the longer ailerons. Okay. Let's get her turned around. She's got power to spare. Okay, let me stand over here. Go down here, get turned around. She's actually, like in the gaming world, she's OP. She's overpowered. So, don't need takeoff flaps because I'm going into the wind. Right, left, up, down, right, left. All right, and I'll show you the cargo door when we get done flying. Timer set for five minutes. And she lifts right up. She did need a little bit of up trim. Yeah, she's flying just fine now. He's a little bit the left aileron. Like I say, this is just the maiden flight, so. I'm just trying to figure her out. Yeah. A little too much up elevator. Yeah, there you go. Well, she's easy to fly. She wanted to land there. I think she's flying like she's a little tail heavy. I'll move that. I'll move that battery back some, or forward some. All right. Let's get that battery moved forward just a touch. I think I got it back too far because she's still wanting to climb an awful lot on me. Prop. Prop secured. But this is just one of these things. I mean, you try to set everything up by the book and as it goes, but everybody's batteries weigh differently. Everybody's interpretation is different, you know, so you just really, truly don't know until you get her to the field. And that, that's just the truth of it. You just really don't know until you get her at the field and you see how it really how it translates into real life I mean all the manuals and videos and all that you can watch all that all day long and it is very helpful it gives you a little bit of a heads up but I'll take real world testing versus book learning 
any day. Let's see, I move that forward about maybe quarter of an inch, half an inch. Let's see if that doesn't help sun. Let me get off the flying field here. Oh, stepped in a hole. That's the problem with geotech. It's just fabric stretched over, uh, over the ground. So when you've got some erosion, you get a hole in the ground, you can't tell because you can't see it. All right, we'll see if that's a little bit better. Yeah, she lifts right up. You gotta be, she lifts up an awful lot, like the DH, uh, that De Havilland DH-10. Oh yeah. Oh, that's much better. Much better. Amazing how much difference CG makes. Still need a little bit more left aileron. Like I say, on a maiden, usually I don't do too much, too crazy. Just kind of flying around, getting used to something before I start taking her up and going crazy with something. All right, let's take her out here. Let's do grass ops. As you can see, that grass is awfully... Do takeoff flaps. Here we go. And she got light quick. That cl I put a uh, clear coat of mid wax on there. Boy, that does make a difference. Makes her a lot shinier. And she'll slow right down for you. There you go, grass ops. No problem at all. You do not need much elevator to get up off the ground, just a little click of elevator. And once you get light, well, she'll just take right off for you. All right, we're gonna go out here. Landing flaps. Behind you. All right. Doing land takeoff or take our landing flaps now. I'm with the wind though. So you can see the difference that with the wind makes. That was my minute warning, that beep y'all heard. Alright, we're gonna do takeoff flaps again. Just a little bit of pressure on that elevator and she'll lift right up. And I don't think... Landing flaps. I'll have to check when I land, but I don't think I have an elevator to flap mix. All right, my timer is going off now. Whoa, not the best landing. That's called a stall. I kind of dropped a wing there because I didn't maintain enough speed. So that just shows you what she'll do. All right, time's expired. And let's look and see if I had a 
flat mix in there. Yes, I did. I, for takeoff, I had a 16% down elevator, and for landing, I had a 24% down. That's right, I set it up just by the book. So, very impressed. All right, look at the bat, look at the butt end of the plane. Bombs away. Bombs away. And there it is back up, and I call gear up as my audio call. Um, Prop secured. Let's go over. Show you where I got the battery placed. And like I said, the only mods I've done to the plane is I've gave her a clear coat of Midwax, and I also painted, the, took the nose cone is magnetic, I took it off and spray painted it black. Okay, so. And right there, a dead center cam crew, can you zoom in on the can or the battery bay? Got it? Okay. The middle strap is kind of in the middle on the 4000, and that front strap is right on the very front of that battery going backwards. So, yeah, that's where I placed the AR631, the same place they have it with a bind and fly. And uh, I got some of the decals to work. Some of them didn't work. Um, CG, according to the book, I can't, I don't remember the numbers, but I remember the landmarks is you look at this black or the hard plastic and you go in about a, uh, about three quarters of an inch from that hard plastic and that is the CG. So put your fingers right there and that's perfect. Let's get the thumbnail. There you go. That is the EC. 1500 by E-Flight, great flying plane. You can also take this little magnetic piece off here and that allows cooling. I should have done that before I took off, but that allows cooling in there. You've also got these vents back here where that air um, exhaust, and also that helps deploy your cargo, whatever cargo you've got in there. Um, also in the back, these exhaust from the, from the ESCs, the air goes in. That's functional. You got that air going over that motor and over that ESC and out the back end of that exhaust, which is the same on that real plane. Works on the same on the uh, model. The screws, the way they go in, the and, and this is maddening, it's the short ones go in the back and the long ones go in the front. If you don't do that, you'll be fighting forever. And the picture is so small, it's hard to tell what they're talking about. Short in the front, or short in the back, long in the front. So, there you go, folks. That's the EC1500. Um, I have plug and play. I absolutely love it. It's a great flying plane. You saw the maiden. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all. And don't forget, faith, family, and friends, and then cargo planes. Bye-bye.